Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal to work on the database SQL coding exercises. Um, if you're joining in the middle of this uh, section, I'm going to go ahead and put a link down below in the description uh, for the playlist for this whole complete uh, Code Signal exercise. But right now I'm going to go to the arcade, the database section, and then we left off on number 14 here, test check. All right. Sorry. Uh, your professor gave the class a bonus task. Write a program that will check the answers for the latest test. The program will be given a table answers with the following columns. So we've got an ID, correct answer is the correct answer, and the given answer, uh, which can be null. The task is to return the table with a column ID and a column checks, uh, where for each answer's ID, the following string uh, should be returned. So no answer if the answer given is empty, correct if the given answer is the same as the correct answer, incorrect if the given answer is not empty and is incorrect. Order the records in the uh, answer table by ID. All right, so we're given this. So we've got an ID, the correct answer, given answer. In some cases, the given answer might not have been uh, given, so it's null. And we're checking whether these two are the same. So the output should be correct, no answer, or incorrect. So, sorry. So they gave us uh, everything, and then we only had to update uh, this section here. So how do we do that to check if it's correct, no answer, or incorrect? Uh, so we can use an if statement. And so under an if statement, you give it a true-false condition, and then you give it uh, the thing if that is true, and then there's another thing that says if it is false. All right, so there's two nested ifs in here. So first we're looking at if the given answer is null, then we're going to return no answer. Now, if the given answer has some value in it and is not null, then we're going to go to the next if statement. And if the given answer is equal to the correct answer, so if these two are the same, like they are in this row, then we're going to return correct. And if they are not, like in this case where uh, C is not equal to B, then we're going to return incorrect. Sorry. Let's let's just reset this. Okay. Uh, here we go. Reset. All right. So let's reset this. So they gave us the structure here. So let's retype that in. So if the given answer is empty, so given answer is null, then we're going to return. Uh, no answer and then if that's not the case we're going to do another if and if the correct answer is equal to the given answer then we're going to return the correct Otherwise, we are going to return incorrect. I believe that should work. Unknown given in field list. Oh, I put given instead of given answer. There we go. That gives you the correct answer. If you go ahead and press submit, that will be the correct answer. Hope you guys were able to follow along with that, and you'll join me for the next videos. Thank you very much.